Music is extremely important to me. It's rare that I'm not listening to or humming something. I have a playlist for all aspects of my life, be that work, relaxation, travelling, to wake me up, to put me to sleep, for walking, for running, for study and for prayer, and music for every emotion. I recently read that fans of musical theatre are more emotional as it's reflected in the music we listen to. I'm not sure if I agree with this, but I can understand the point being made. As I write this, I am listening to Catherine Jenkins' concert at the Royal Albert Hall, broadcast for the VE Day celebrations on Friday. Music has seen me through the most uplifting and darkest moments. During Friday's concert, Catherine reflected on the music written between 1939 and 1945, and how the music created during this time was designed to lift spirits and bring hope. Hope that the war would be over and things would be better. One of the songs featured was Over the Rainbow, written by composer Howard Arlen and lyricist Yip Harburg from the movie The Wizard of Oz. Harburg has said the inspiration for this piece was a ballad for a little girl who was in trouble and wanted to get away from Kansas, a dry, arid, colourless place. She had never seen anything colourful in her life except the rainbow. Although the first song in the film, Over the Rainbow was the last to be written, with Arlen struggling to find the perfect melody for the moment. And, somewhat surprisingly, the song was cut from the film following the first preview, as it was felt it was too sad, slowed down the picture, and was too complex for the intended audience, children, being described as not for a little girl singing in a barnyard. The production team fought to have it put back in, and fortunately for us, they succeeded. The song comes after Dorothy is sent away by Auntie M with instruction, find yourself a place where you won't get into any trouble. Dorothy wanders off, accompanied by Dog Toto, and wanders some place where there isn't any trouble. Do you suppose there is such a place, Toto? There must be. It's not a place you can get to by a boat or a train. It's far, far away, behind the moon, beyond the rain. By the time the film was released, Europe was on the brink of war, and when the US joined two years later, Judy Garland recorded a special version to be sent to all American soldiers. When the song was adapted for the stage, a prelude was added. When all the world is a hopeless jumble, and the raindrops tumble all around, heaven opens a magic lane. When all the clouds darken up the skyway, there's a rainbow highway to be found, leading from your window pane to a place behind the sun, just a step beyond the rain. The song is about hope, that the bad times will one day be over. It is this feeling of hope within the song that we can all relate to, and it is therefore no surprise that this song lifted the World War II generation and that the rainbow has become the symbol the world has turned to now, a longing for that step beyond the rain. Whilst our circumstances are different, there is a lot we can learn from the World War II generation. Everything comes to an end, and once this is over we can learn and rebuild. Things may not be the same, but that's not always a bad thing. And for now, I think we can find their hope through the music that carried them through the darkness.